In today's video, we are doing 12 days of comfort. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a bed. So welcome to today's video. I was so excited to make this one because if you're anything like me, you want to stay on track during the holidays, but you don't want to feel deprived. You know, everybody is eating things that look decadent and delicious, and you want to stay on track, but you don't want to feel like you're missing out. So these 12 recipes are go-tos for me. These are things that I eat during the holidays and really also not during the holidays when I want something that is super satisfying, really delicious, sweet or savory. I have both in these 12 recipes. All of them have simple, quick, easy to find ingredients. All of them are customizable so that maybe you add a little peanut butter, maybe you add a little cheese, all very simple, basic go-to recipes, but they're so good and they're all comfort food. Now I'm gonna give you Weight Watchers points on every single recipe. And then if you wanna grab pen and paper, jot down the recipes as I go through them because they're all very, very simple and easy, I promise. No complicated instructions at all. So if you are counting Weight Watchers points or if you're counting macros or calories or both, these are all gonna be simple to follow as well. So I said this was gonna be all about the food. Let's jump into it. Let's get ourselves warmed up with something really simple. And I mean really, really simple. So what we have here is a half a cup of broccoli cheddar soup that I picked up at Costco. Now I know when you scan that, it seems like it's really high, but what I do is I just half it. So because I enjoy it so much, I'm completely satisfied with a half a cup of this. And maybe if you wanna make it a nice round lunch you can add a little side salad maybe you can add a lower point piece of bread but in the winter months i just think this broccoli cheddar soup is so good and sometimes that's all you're in the mood for so sometimes just portion it out and it can work Now for this one, you're gonna do six ounces of unsweetened vanilla almond milk. You're gonna to add to that one pack of sugar-free hot cocoa mix, get that blended together really well, and then put in two to three tablespoons of the zero sugar peppermint mocha creamer. Gonna get that all heated up in the microwave and then add some peppermint topping, delish. I couldn't do this video without my chicken burgers, so I will link the recipe to this one below, but this is just my basic chicken burger recipe, French onion style with some mashed potatoes on top. Now with this one, I used my basic turkey tenderloin recipe. Basically, you pull the turkey tenderloin out of the bag, salt, pepper, and bake it, that's it. And I did a quarter cup of the gravy, a quarter cup of Idaho and mashed potatoes, and a little bit of corn. This is like the KFC bowl, but turkey version. Now this one is one of my all time favorites. I love this combination. So I use one half cup of quick oats, one packet of stevia, you can use any sugar sweetener that you like, one tablespoon of butterscotch sugar-free pudding mix. Get that combined together, then add however much water you want. And I like to throw in a little splash of vanilla extract as well. Get that heated up in the microwave for a minute and 10 seconds or so. And then I also add a dollop of peanut butter. You can kind of see, see that sitting there right on the left-hand side. So one tablespoon of peanut butter. You don't have to do that, but it really is creamy and delicious. And a little bit of cinnamon. That is one of my favorite breakfasts. Another one of my favorite comfort foods is chicken salad. So I like to use the Costco rotisserie chicken and I'll do one of the chicken breasts, get that cut up, I'll dice up real small, a little bit of onion and about one celery stock. I put one tablespoon of light mayo in there, salt, pepper, and that's it.
Now you know I could not do this video without my beloved cucumbers. So my favorite cucumbers are the English cucumbers. I know they're a little bit expensive, but they're so well worth it. So I always peel them and you don't have to seed them because they're supposed to be seedless. I mean, you can see kind of seeds in there, but they're supposed to be easy on the digestion. So they never bother me. So sometimes I just have them with a little bit of light cheese and some of my absolute favorite Good & Gather light ranch dressing. That is my go-to, but there's so many other things you can do with them. Sometimes I'll just chunk up some cheese, some red onion, and again, dressing of choice, or I'll make a huge salad. So there is iceberg lettuce down in the bottom of that salad, but I have so many other things in there. I have the cucumbers, peppers. I'm going to show you here in a minute what I'm going to do with that, but I'll make a huge bowl of it. And then as long as you don't put the dressing in the bowl, you can do whatever you want with it all throughout the week, not just as a salad, but I'm going to show you here. I pop it in a little low carb wrap and it is so good. I put Italian dressing on it. You you could throw some grilled chicken in there. It's just so versatile. So I know it seems a little bit boring, but actually it's really not. Kevin is helping me out with the taco meat today. So what we have in there is one chopped onion, one tablespoon of minced garlic, and we've got one pound of lean ground hamburgers. So we get that all browned up and then we add in one teaspoon of smoky paprika and about two tablespoons of this taco seasoning. You're just gonna do that to taste. Whatever you like, I don't count points for that. So that's about two tablespoons. We get that mixed in and once we put that on simmer, sometimes we have to add a couple tablespoons of water, but really not much more than that. You could also use salsa instead of water and that's it. You're done and you can make whatever you like out of that. You could do tacos, you can do burritos. I like to do taco salads. That way I can weigh out the meat. I've got one holy guacamole on this one as well, and a little bit of Ken's Thousand, Out, Thousand Island Light Dressing, which really gives it a nice little pop, but it is so full of flavor. Now this next one is one of my absolute holiday favorites. It's so warm and comforting to have a nice hot bowl of delicious decadent oatmeal. So we're going to start with a half a cup of quick oats. You can see there, there's a decent amount of carbs in oatmeal, but there's very high fiber. So it kind of balances out. Now you're going to want to use cheesecake sugar-free pudding mix on this one. I only had vanilla, which works, but we're going to do cheesecake for this recipe. Two packets of stevia or any sweetener that you like a splash of vanilla extract and then i'm going to top that with the strawberry jam this version here i like this one but i also like the sugar-free smuckers so you can use any that you like you could even use strawberries if you want to so we're going to get that mixed up with however much water you want or milk and look at this it is so delicious it is bursting with flavor if you don't like oatmeal you have to try some of these comforting recipes for this recipe you're going to start with the hungry girl scoopable apple pie recipe it's so easy it's basically apples a little bit of sweetener lots of cinnamon and a little bit of cornstarch that you're going to make kind of a slurry with and some water so that it thickens up and you get that little bit of cinnamon juice. I like to do it in the crock pot, but that recipe, you can Google it. It's everywhere. It's very simple and it's zero points. Now we're going to move on to our yogurt portion of this recipe. So I'm going to use the blended Greek oikos. I'm using some, you're going to use a tablespoon of sugar-free butterscotch pudding mix, one packet of stevia in the raw, and a splash of vanilla. You're going to get that mixed up and top it with those apples. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Now I do a version of this with the canned at sugar-free apple pie, which is really good and quick and easy. But if you have the time, doing it this way is the way to go.
I utilize the bag turkey tenderloin all the time. It is zero points if you get it unflavored. And I far prefer to do it that way because then you can add your own seasonings. Now on this one, I rolled it in a little mixture that I created of smoky paprika, a little bit of cumin, salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And it was really delicious. All you do is pop it in a casserole dish, put the lid on. I put no liquid in that. That, that liquid is coming out on its own. That's natural juices from the turkey. And you don't need to do anything to it. So it's really delicious. Let me show you. I change it out all the time just based on whatever seasonings I want to use. I have so many of them. Sorry about that. I don't know who gave me that, but that's just, it's a pie because, you know, I'm kind of a proper gal. I don't like to have those things out. So anyway, uh, this was great. This was delicious. And that's one of my favorite ways to make it. But like I said, you can change this up by using any seasoning that you want. You know what? I think it's my brother that gave me that. He's kind of weird like that, but that seasoning is actually good. Let's make some nice cream. So this is going to be two servings of vanilla soft serve. So what you're going to need is a good strong food processor. I will link the one I'm using below. That's super important. Two frozen bananas. They have to be frozen. Two tablespoons of sugar-free vanilla pudding mix. Two packets of stevia or a sweetener about two tablespoons of vanilla almond milk, and you're gonna blend until it is smooth and delicious like soft serve. So you can see that is the texture you're going for, and this is a perfect way to end the video. I really hope you enjoyed all of these recipes. Let me know in comments which one is your favorite and which one you're gonna try. Now, if you like these types of videos where I just do quick easy recipes and it's just all about the food please let me know that because i'll definitely start integrating those onto my channel sometimes it's fun to just get the recipe and move on so i completely understand that let me know down in comments but otherwise i hope this will give you some ideas and inspiration that you can make for yourself and your family all while staying on track